All right, this is for Hector Monogro. Um, overall, I think for the most part, everything looks okay uh, as far as the uh, the character itself. Um, let me uh, let me do something. Okay, so let me drop this. I screwed this up here. Um, so what I've done here is I've just separated the characters, okay? And I've got some line work weird in here, but um, the first thing I would say right off the bat is that ultimately you want to um, work on your foreshortening a little bit. So I'm gonna show you on this guy here, the foreshortening on this is a little bit off, okay? If we, if we look at, um, the arm okay so the arm is actually I'm going to draw it over here just to kind of compare so the arm is actually like two cylinders so you got cylinder one and then cylinder two okay and you've got you've got to have if if it's coming towards you for perspective this cylinder at that angle that you're doing is going to be significantly bigger than this cylinder up here so um, you want to really be aware of that aspect and then on top of that, you're you're moving the arm like this. So you've got another cylinder here, and then you're moving it like this. So again, coming like so. Now, you've done that for the most part, but the problem is that you're not giving me the relationship of the cylinders on everything else. So in this case, look at this here versus look at, so your cylinder runs like this, your armbands would almost be like this. I mean, they're, they're that kind of towards you. Same thing over here, you get more arc on this, like so. And so that's the big thing that I would say right off the bat, is match the, the cylinder kind of area to the arc, right? And that's, that's one of the, the things that I would say right off the bat. The other aspect of this is you want to have overlapping, okay? And so um, you know, if you look at it from a, a visual standpoint, so I'm going to refine these cylinders even more. So you've got, you've got your, uh, your shoulder muscle here, like so, and the shoulder comes down into this, but you've also got an overlap of the bicep coming up. So the bicep is overlapping this here and then the tricep is coming back here and then pushing in and then it comes back. So it's a little bit of anatomy, but, but it's the foreshortening of it too because you would see the undercut of this muscle because so, this muscle is kind of a, a, kind of a draw. So, uh, so it's got like, you know, something like that. And then, so that comes in, the elbow is prevalent, but then this muscle here would overlap, okay? So again, it's that overlapping, and I, um, if you read Jack Ham's book, it's all about the T. Um, so it's it's all about kind of the the idea of how things kind of push together. So here's a T, here's a T, here's a T, here's a T, um, and a T, and so on and so forth. And so those T's are basically what's going to help you. Um, you s define the elbow a little bit more because you're you're also using foreshortening. So look at this dust here, and it doesn't correlate to the back, okay? And so you want a little bit of dust to pull out that foreground element, all right? And then you'll have the bone coming off. Now I have to think about this since my arms hurt here, so. So the arm is actually, like there's a bone that goes from the elbow here to the outside of the wrist, so there, moving the bone like so. So this bone is, is a prevalent bone that you, you need to kind of pay attention to, and then it reaches into the wrist. Now, what that has is you've got that big muscle, that muscle striation coming from up here, which is basically the fleshy part of the thing, the, the, the forearm, and then it comes back down. Then you also have like a fleshy part under here that goes back down. So you can see here, which you've got, you've got the, the, the overall shape, but you need that, that flavor of uh, that overlapping issue. So you can see here, by just kind of 
putting in those T's, you can get some more kind of depth to it, okay? And then you have your wrist, and I'm not gonna, the, the hand's fine, so I'm not gonna worry about that. But the, on top of that, then you have, again, that, and I'll change my color here, you have again that, uh, that real sharp arc, and you wanna follow the form of that, you know, which you've got, but it's just not defined enough. It needs to be pushed out a little bit more. And so again, get that curve in there that, that represents the foreshortening. Get the curve in there that represents the foreshortening. And then if you have bands on there, you're gonna have a little bit of overlap too. Like it's, those bands are gonna cut into the flesh. So don't feel like you need to you know, make them uh, as, as loose as, you know, as form fitting. Um, so just that's the big thing that I see here and it's the same thing kind of here too I mean um, and I'm just gonna hide this so it's the it's the same thing here as well like you just want to get that rounded form out there on all your foreshortening just make sure those arcs pay attention the other aspect is that your characters are uh, kind of standing out um, but they're not silhouetted out and so what that means is you've got character, uh, and this is where I'm gonna cut off the background. So you've got this character here, um, standing out from this character here. And this makes a decent silhouette. But when you put the background in, the background basically kind of causes you to lose that character. Um, as you can see, I mean, you've got uh, you've got very similar tones on this character range here. And so just pushing those back a little bit. And I'm just going to show you uh, real simple. Uh, let's let's lighten it up a little bit. Just by pushing those a little bit lighter, do you see how now that character stands out significantly more? And then even going on this character here. Oops, oops, there we go. And uh, lightening her up just a hair not that much but it puts her further into the background and I would bring some of the sand that's coming up over in front of her um, so I would add in and this is where I'm gonna just add a real soft uh, let's go bigger than that not that big real soft oops See, kind of to bring her out so you've got you know you've got the separate silhouettes and that's even really kind of strong I mean I probably would go a lot less than that as far as you know, this is where layer control works better and so you can see just by doing that it makes both of these characters just pop in depth and then the next thing I would do is ultimately um, really even push this so I'm just going to uh, grab this arm here from this character and I'm going to just pop this arm off here really simple really stupid uh, let's cut this here so then on this one here I would again darken it a little bit more like so and then let's put a new layer here with the brush and just and you can see how just by doing that it pops a little bit further and it's very subtle approaches but it does give you what you're looking for I think overall is, is that more of that depth feeling going on and I think that's what you're looking for um, but I hope that helps you